Welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to write the slope-intercept form of linear equations <clears throat> given a variety of different informations, but not a graph. So they will make some very, very, very simple. Now remember, a linear equation is just in slope-intercept form is just y equals mx plus b where m is a number that is the slope and b is a number that is the y-intercept. And so they might make it as simple as this. Uh, what's the equation of a line that has a slope of two-thirds and a y-intercept of negative three? Well, they gave you m, they gave you b, you just type in y equals 2 slash 3x minus 3. And you're done. Make sure you always put the x in. Don't get ahead of yourself and forget the x. The x is a variable that should always be in the equation. The y is a variable that should always be in the equation. You should always have the equal sign. The only two numbers you should have are the slope and the y-intercept. Now, They'll give them to you that simple. They might also give them to you almost as simple where they say this, uh, write the equation of a line that has a slope of negative four sevenths and passes, it's supposed to be a P, passes through the point zero eight. Well, if the x value is zero in the point they give you, the y value is the y-intercept because the y-intercept always has an x value of zero. So realize that if the x value is zero of the point they give you, then that y is the y-intercept. So they gave you the slope and the b value. So y equals negative four slash seven x plus eight and you've written the equation, okay? Now, they might make it a little bit harder. They might go, all right, let's say you pass through, a, or you have an equation that has a slope or a line that has a slope of three and passes through the point to eight, okay? Now the x value is not zero. We do not have the y-intercept. So we need to be able to find the y-intercept. We do know the slope. The slope's easy enough. It gave us the slope. So we know to write y equals 3x plus or minus something, depending on what the y-intercept is. That b value is very easy to find if you're given a point and the slope. How you find the B value is you take the Y value of your point. So you take that, I'm gonna write it like this way, the Y value of the point, and you minus off the slope times the X value. So I would write this down. So again, for this particular problem, I would take eight and minus off two times, two is, well, I put the X first, two is the X value m is 3, so 2 times 3, or 3 times 2, and that means I'm going to have a minus 6, which means the b value is 2. 2. So I come up here and put plus 2, and we're done. So if they give you the slope and a point, you're given the slope, the m value, then you take the y value and minus off the x value times the slope to find that b value that goes on the outside. So write this equation down if you need to in order to figure out how to calculate the slope, or sorry, not the slope, the b value if you're given a slope and a point, okay? Now, they might not give you a slope and a single point that's not the y-intercept. They might give you two points, right? So they might give you, say, the points uh, 5, negative 3, and, oh, I don't know, 7, um, negative 1. 
So again, if you're given two points, remember the slope is found by taking the difference in the y's, y2 minus y1, divided by the difference in the x's, x2 minus x1. So if you need to label this x1, y1, this x2, y2. And then you just go, okay, I got a negative 1 minus a minus 3 over 7 minus 5. Well, that gives me a negative 1 plus 3, which is 2, 7 minus 5, which is 2, and it gives me a slope of 1. So now, if you get a slope of 1, remember as you go to write the equation, y equals, you don't have to put a 1x, you can just put x. There's a 1 already there. But I don't know the y-intercept. But remember, how can we find the y-intercept or the b value? Well, I find that b value by taking a y value and minusing off the slope time that's corresponding x value. Well, take one of the two points then. I'm going to take this first one here. I'm going to take negative 3. That's my y value. I'm going to minus off my slope. Now remember, I found a slope of 1. So my slope of 1 times my x value. Make sure you use the same point. Since I use negative 3 or this y value, I'm using this x. Don't accidentally use the other point. So I'm going to minus off 1 times 5. That's negative 3 minus 5 or negative 8. So I'd have y, my, y equals x minus 8. So again, I found the b value by taking a y value on a point and minusing off the x value times the slope. All right? Now, they might actually make it a little bit easier and harder depending on if you fully understand something. They might give you two points like this, uh, 36 and negative 17 and uh, 88 and negative 17. Now I want you to think for just a minute. Look at the y values. They're the same. If the y values are the same, it's not changing vertically. It's what's called a horizontal line with a slope of zero. And any time they have a slope of zero, if m is zero, you don't put in an x term in your equation. You think about this, y equals mx plus b. If I made m zero, what's zero times x? It goes away. Your equation will be y equals negative 17, and you're done. There is no x in the equation. So in fact, they actually earlier give you some of those. They say, write the equation of a line that has a slope of zero, and goes through the point, the point, oh, negative 5, 18. Well, if it has a slope of zero, all you need is a y value, any y value, because that y value is not going to change, which means that's going to go through the y-intercept at 18, and your equation is just y equals 18. So if the slope is zero, you just use an, a y value they give you, any y value they give you. All right, let's do one last one. Uh, so let's do one again with some more points. If they give you two points, negative 18, oh, 3, and let's say negative 15, uh, 12. Okay, so again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my slope by taking. Uh, second y value minus and off the first y value divided by the second x value, negative 15, minusing off the first x value, which is a negative 18. So that's going to give me 12 minus 3 is 9. Negative 15 plus 18 is going to be 3. That reduces to 3. So I know I have a slope of 3. y equals 3x plus some or minus some value. Again, I don't see my y-intercept, so the way I'm going to calculate my y-intercept is I'm going to take one of these two points. I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to take its y-value, which is 12, and I'm going to minus off the slope, which is 3, times the x-value, which is negative 15. So again, I have 12 minus times a minus is plus. 3 times 15 is 45. 12 plus 45 is 57. So I'd have 3x plus 57. If you have any questions, do bring them to class and I will 